Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm Wendy. I'm Dustin. And today we are going to review The Jungle Book. The Jungle Book stars Neil Sethi and the voice talents of, oof, there's a lot of people, Bill Murray, Idris Elba, Lupita Nyong'o, Scarlett Johansson, Bill Murray, Christopher Walken. Is that it? No, there's also, wait, who did um, The Panther? Ben Kingsley. Ben Thank Kingsley. You. All right, that was the important There's one. There's so many of them in this um, movie. Yeah. And each one of them had a gr oh, Their voices fit so nicely. But before we get into more details, what were some of... You, what is your basic thoughts? Without going into spoilers yet, we'll get into spoilers, but just I want to first give out our first initial thoughts and opinions. What did you think overall? Well... When I first read about, you know, the reports of the Jungle Book and how the only actual person, you know, in the film is the boy, is Neil Sethi, who, yeah. by the way, is amazing, but then I was like, so this is pretty much everything CGI, and then I learned that they all filmed all of it on a soundstage, so I was like, I don't even know how much, like, I can feel invested in this movie emotionally, because if you know the story of Jungle Book, you know, and the animals, like, obviously the animals are going to have to talk, but they're going to look real. I was yeah. like, is this going to be kind of like that Homeward Bound kind of feel? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but it blew me away, and it was really, really fantastic. And I, you forget. You really forget because you're so immersed into the story and the characters yeah. that you forget these are all CGI. What about you? Honestly, I loved it. This movie knocked me off my feet. I was expecting it, um, yeah, the fact that the only actor was going to be a kid. I thought, okay, well, maybe the kid's going to be okay. The kid's amazing. Yes. He does, he does a great job on acting well as a kid. Yes. And saying lines in a way that a kid would say them. And he did an amazing job. The CGI, the special effects, everything on here is amazing. Um, there's I maybe... can't believe. I mean, sometimes you could you could kind of see the CGI. You can kind of see it. But I remember in the opening scene, we saw it uh, at the press screening, and I leaned over to John Campia and I was like, "So all of this is indoors?" He's like, "All of it." I'm like, "So this what I'm watching right now is oops, this what I'm watching right now is computer generated." He's like, "Yeah," and I'm like, "This is unbelievable because it looks so real." The one one part that's um, stuck out the most is when the um, well, hold on, actually, no, we'll get into that a little bit later. Later, there was one part where um, Mowgli As comes you get up back into with it. monkeys, and then you kind of look at it the the way the three D hit it and mm -hmm. the outline of all the characters kind of made it a little bit. Go, I want to see mm. it again in IMAX, but without the three D. Yeah, you know, same here. So, is there anything about the film that you didn't like, or do you, this is like a good point of going to the spoilers? Actually, I think everything about this movie was very well planned out, mm -hmm. um, very well structured. The script was great. Each character had a per the way they did their voices and their characters was really yes. just really in really pulled you into the characters, mm -hmm. and the fact that they're talking animals doesn't really take away from it at all no i mean if you've seen the jungle book the end the cartoon the animation you're gonna know how the animals talk yeah very true and sing too so no i yeah I, I don't really have anything negative to say with the exception that we saw it in 3d which isn't like the film's fault that has nothing to do with the film itself mm. um sometimes you were able to, to see the cgi but honestly that's like i'm tr really trying to nitpick at it i love the story i love the progression nothing really dragged on for too long they weren't trying to push something too hard yeah it was just flowed very naturally and i and i liked it that's exactly what i was going to say next i was like if she doesn't say it i want to the way <laughs> the story flows from one plot line to the next um just was brilliant and you never felt like you know like you're getting bored or like come on let's get on to go let's go back to Mowgli and what his story is the one thing I do have to say and this is advice to any parents who's watching this review if you want to take your kids if they're like five and under you might want to leave them at home or wait until uh, the DVD comes out because there were moments that as an adult, I was like, oh, that could be really scary. Oh, that's really, really dark. Mm -hmm. So I don't think, I think I saw like one parent grab their kid and just take them out for a little bit during a couple scenes, and then they came back. But yes, yeah, certain parts did get a, a little, it could be a little frightening for younger kids. Yeah. But speaking of certain parts, let's get into some more of the details. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, and you've now you're like, oh, now I definitely want to go see it, 
cut and here, you should. and then come back and join us later. Yeah, or if you don't care because you know what the Jungle Book's all about, then keep on watching, but it's up to you. All mm-hmm. right, so uh, let's talk about some of your favorite parts in the film, specifically. I love that they took a little bit of a darker path on this. Mm-hmm. They made it a little bit more brutal and a little bit more, more you know, life in the jungle kind of feel. Mm-hmm. Um, the one that hit me just really hard was when Shere Khan um, attacked the head wolf. And, th- and, and, and just yes. throws him off. I'm like, holy! They went there. You kind of... A part yeah, of me... Sure. I'm sorry, I bumped it. Um, a part of you might have... I kind of saw it coming, but I'm like, no, 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 no. They're not gonna, they're not gonna kill him. That, this is a Disney movie. But it's the jungle. Very true. <laughs> no, yeah, I, uh, that, that part really definitely stood out to me because I definitely didn't see that coming. And there were some parts that reminded me a little bit of The Lion King, the scene with the buffalo. There was like a stampede of the buffaloes. Mm-hmm. There was uh, Shere Khan, major spoiler here, Shere Khan when he falls to his death. It reminded me of Scar when he fell to his death. It was like almost like replica of, of the image, but one was, you know, like very fancy CGI. One was, one was hand-drawn. I really enjoyed the I Want to Be Like You song, sung by <laughs> Christopher Walken. And what the funny part was, they're at the monkey temple, and I Mowgli goes part. and picks up this tin, and he's, like, turning it over, and and, every, and I was anticipating King Louie, and I was like, I know it's Christopher Walken. It's like, so, you know. Like, I was waiting for that, <laughs> you know? That's actually not bad. Yeah. <laughs> not I try to do Christopher Walken sometimes, <laughs> and it's just terrible. So Mowgli picks up this tin thing, he turns it over, you hear, clink, clink. clink, clink. It's a cowbell, you guys. I got a fever. <laughs> And the only prescription is what more cowbell. Cow See, it's terrible. <laughs> but the and also leading up to King Louis's entrance or appearance mm-hmm. was really cool. How they set up that the the temple. The temple looked gorgeous. Yes. And the one spot that I was talking about that you can kind of tell where the CGI is mm-hmm. is when they were coming up from this hill. But the part that I loved is the fact that Baloo and Magira both climbed. The cliff. The cliff. And the whole time, Baloo's is like, okay, don't look down. I'm going to make it. Okay, <laughs> keep going. Yeah. And Bill Murray is perfect for this role. He plays Baloo so well. Yeah. And the lines that they gave him, I thought were excellent. The voice the voice uh, talents in this is really, I mean, they more, more than deliver. Even Scarlett Johansson as Ka... Uh, really blew me away. I could listen to her all day. She is probably the sexiest snake ever. And I like what they did with Ka's hypnotizing eyes because I was thinking oh. before we went in, I was like from the cartoon, like, is it going to look really, really cheesy? But it's not. No. I really and liked I it. I liked the purpose that Ka served. They couldn't squeeze, they couldn't like fit her in as another like supporting character, but they made her role still important mm-hmm. by telling the whole past of what happened to Mowgli and what happened to his father and Shere Khan and how Shere Khan got burnt. Yes. I thought it was very well <clears throat> presented. You're, it, you, I didn't sit there and go, oh, it's time for some exposition kind of thing. <laughs> but it, like I said, the, this whole script just flowed very well from one point to another. And you guys, uh, Neil Sethi as Mowgli, he is going to steal your heart. I can now totally understand why everybody and John Favreau, why he, they just gushed over him. He is, and he's not just like a kid being a kid in the jungle. I mean, he did some action. There is some parkour. There is a lot of running. There are a lot of climbing. And there is some uh, behind the scenes stuff. If you just search YouTube, you can find how they did it. Mm-hmm. And they definitely had him, you know, run around and, and do some practical stuff. So it wasn't all 100% like blue screen, green screen. There were yeah. some practical set pieces in there that they, you know, can enhance later on in post. And then there was that one time that, yeah, they showed him like rolling down the mud hill. Like the kid actually did it. And he did actually it. is doing that. The kid actually did it. I, like, like the opening scene, I was like, oh, this is like this. I like this kid already. He's mm-hmm. parkouring through the trees. It's really great. I'm, I'm so glad we went. I'm so glad I liked it. We want to go back and see it again. Yeah. Minus 3D glasses. And I hope you guys. We'll probably after, see it in Prime. Yeah. And after seeing, oh, it's going to look beautiful names you prime mm-hmm. um if you guys haven't seen it please go out and, and just enjoy the story and enjoy the film it's and we really, highly, really great. highly recommend it all right well you guys that's it for us i'm wendy and i'm dustin and we will see you in the next video